to the people who usually watch my videos, which might be a select few, you might be wondering, why are you wearing a flannel? Where's your sweatshirt or your t-shirts? Well, I'm here to tell you some big changes going on in the life of Giancarlo Guccione. For the past few months, unfortunately, I've been living in La La Land. I've figured since I have this dream to be an MMA fighter, and it takes up four to six hours of my day. Are you kidding me? I made the mistake of thinking it was my whole life, and I had no time to work, and basically just being an absolute bitch, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, shit. And unfortunately for me, that's just not how life works. You have to contribute in some way, and I really haven't been contributing at all in general. And getting a job is more of a responsibility that I have to be willing to take on than something I just feel like is going to slow me down in my career, because it's not. All of the fighters I've ever talked to, all the amazing fighters at my gym, they've had to work one job, maybe two jobs, and I was sitting there just draining away my savings account thinking, if I can at least just fight once, then it'll all be worth it, but it's not true. For longev longevity, you need um, you need something that's going to keep you more comfortable financially too, and I understand that, so this is where the change is going to start. So to answer your question, that is why I'm wearing a flannel right now. Because you look good, you feel good, and I'm going to interview at a like a barish place, which I've I talked to like Juliana Pena before, and she told me one of the best places to work at is a bar as an MMA fighter because they understand your grind and they play the fights at their bar. I mean, I'm just hoping they'll be more supportive of my dream. And my availability, which uh, the one problem when I uh, whenever I went out to find a job is I was just so stubborn with what I wanted my schedule to be like. But I know I, I can't pick and choose my battles. Beggars can't be choosers or whatever the saying is. But anyways, I, I'm going to get a job hopefully today. I have an interview at 11.15. It's 10.36 right now a.m. And hopefully that goes well have my flannel on. I couldn't find my only chain, but I got a nice little v-neck under here. So hopefully it goes well. I'm also not sick anymore. So like I it was barely sick. I just had a stuffy nose. I was just being a drama queen and it's, it's gone now. So expect a lot more action training videos and not as much like gaming playthroughs I, I enjoy both but obviously i enjoy training more and those videos also get more views because i'm i'm more passionate about it I, i'd like to think that's why it's getting more views but expect more training videos definitely i also want to start doing um like mo movie reviews too because i love movies and I love shows and anime, so I think it would be fun to do, like, movie reviews. And I I'm hoping for this job I can at least get, like, five days a week of work. The reason I was so stubborn with my schedule is because I was like, I want to train two times a day. I want to train one in the morning, one at night. The most important time to train in those in the morning for me because that's where all the pro fighters go and I can learn the most from them. And I was just too stubborn. I was trying to, like, get jobs to hire me from, like, 2 to 6 p.m., which is just not reasonable. I'm sure any business owner out there knows that's, like, one way of going into an interview and getting told to turn around and go back out. It, it's just not reality, and I've come to terms with that. I wish it didn't take so long, but now I, I'm back on the grind. I'm going to bring some bread home, which is also probably gonna up the quality of the videos too i'm just i just really want to be able to train just as much but it's um maybe i'll get there one day for sure one day i'll be able to train and get paid for fighting but until then i don't want to say it's just a hobby but just 
it's like an investment it's something i just have to keep going and doing and caring about and there's so many people in the world that can work and fight at the same time so the fact that i thought i wasn't able to do that and my schedule is like the hardest schedule in the world you have to make sacrifices to be great and do the thing and follow your dreams and that's what i'm doing i'm gonna make some sacrifices and start contributing to life and society even though I'm working at a restaurant job, which I'm not, I've worked restaurant jobs my whole work career. I, I'm not, I think they're great jobs. Um, I'm just, I'm just ready to start working. I'm actually excited. I was kind of um, going on a downward slope with my money, so this is going to be a really good thing for me. Some more updates of my life is I, I made a bet with my coach in the beginning of December, and. He was like, I'll give you 15, it wasn't really a bet, he was just, he was telling me basically to lose some weight, it's like, if you lose 15 pounds by the, he's like, you have to lose 15 pounds by the beginning of January, I'll give you till January, and if you can't, you're out of here, and he's basically, I think he's testing my discipline, and it has not been working out well, so what I'm doing now is, I have 15 days left, and I'm eating once a day. I make like a salad with eggs and walnuts on it. Or I, I'm going to start doing that today. Twenty. I Yesterday, I had the first 24-hour fast I've ever done. And it was one of the hardest things imaginable. I was like just so hungry all day. I had no energy, but I, I it helped me lose like three pounds. So it was worth it. It was probably just water weight too because I kept forgetting to drink water the whole day. So I was basically like on a hunger strike or some some form of torture so yeah basically i have to lose like 12 pounds in the next 15 days and it's definitely good for me i i just wish i was kind of being self-destructive in the first like 15 days like i don't even know i was like in a trance like of just not losing weight but now i'm on it and if i want it bad enough i'll be able to do it so it's officially day two of the great starvation so hopefully i get some uh results from it pretty fast too oh shit what did i do and another thing that's new in my life i am currently making a business which is also why i need a job because i don't know what i was thinking making a business with no money and it's going to be called Fighter Fluid. And it's basically a pre-workout made specifically for fighters. And it has like a bunch of nootropics in it, which is good for maintaining focus, clearing brain fog, all that good stuff. It has 150 milligrams of caffeine, which might be a lot for some people. But it's not like that one hit rush and you're just jittery. Since it's combined with L-theanine and it's derived from natural green tea, which also has compounds of L-theanine in it, it has a more long-lasting stimulation, and you won't just get hit in the face with a bunch of caffeine, which I think is huge for fighters and any high-intensity sport, because if you get just hit in the face with caffeine, you're bound to have a sloping effect where you just drain all your energy and you just have that caffeine um drop and you just have no more energy so i think it's gonna be a great supplement again it's called fighter fluid it's fucking motion light i'm pretty excited for the samples to come they're coming on a little bit after christmas so that's gonna be my christmas present to myself i'm in the business with me and my friend jose which you guys haven't been introduced to yet but i'm hoping when i have the time i'm gonna because I'm not sick anymore. I'm going to um, start like a UFC 5 series with him. Where we just like play each other in UFC and talk. Kind of like a podcast-ish thing. But like just like hanging out and playing UFC. I think we do that like once or twice a week. And that would be really fun to just record it and talk about whatever. And I'm actually going to do a giveaway on this channel. Um just comment down in this video below say fighter fluid in all caps if you made it li this long in the video 
and you'll be entered into a raffle. We're going to give away two free units, so two people will get chosen. I, I would make it some crazy number, but I only have 85 subscribers, and probably only one person is going to type that shit down in the fucking comments. So, you know, I, I believe in the product, though. I think if you're a fighter or do any high-intensity sports, this is going to be a product that's really going to... Um, it's going to improve your athleticism. It's going to improve your focus. It's going to even improve your vision. It's just a lot of good stuff comes out of nootropics. Uh, we have like ashwagandha in there, lion's mane, some other things. So all of those are very good herbs and mushrooms that help you focus and maintain just energy. So I think it's definitely worth it if you're in any high-intensity sports or even if you're like a cop or a firefighter and you want your cup of joe and you're just sick of it our first p flavor is gonna be fruit punch so it's gonna be like drinking kool-aid first thing in the morning and getting hit with some caffeine so it's definitely worth a try so just enter in that fighter fluid all caps in the comments down below type it however you want to type it i'm not nitpicking the spelling and um We'll get you guys into the raffle, and we're going to draw winners by, I want to say, next Wednesday. No, no, no. We'll give it a week. Thursday. We'll be drawing winners. So comment down below. Fighter Fluid, all caps. And that's pretty much it. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Wish me luck on my interview today. If not, I have another interview on Tuesday with a MMA gym where I'd be teaching like three or four times a week, but it's only... 15 an hour and it's 28 minutes away so i'm not really sure if that's worth it yet this place i'm going to interview is only like eight minutes away and restaurant jobs always pay good for people with my sort of education which is just high school but it it's worth it i'm excited and i'm hopefully i hopefully i'll go in there and i'll show out but uh thank you for watching see you soon